Hello, this is Andre, and today I will demonstrate you uh, an interesting idea on how to integrate two different kind of Bluetooth hardware bots with each other. I have this small BB-8 uh, Sphero bot, which have, I have won in one of the blog post competitions in my previous workplace. So this uh, tiny bot, it is able to roll in two dimensions, uh, change the color, rotate, and you usually, you're supposed to use um, a mobile application to drive it. So my idea was to recreate what mobile application does to manage and manipulate this bot with the Lego Boost system and turn Lego Boost into uh, joystick, uh, joystick deck and uh, joystick pad to, to do that. Uh, and this is the machine that I got as a result. Uh, it is massive just because uh, of uh, just because of the Lego Boost motor sizes. It is able to control rotation. There's the button and the joystick itself. It's like a huge aerospace joystick that I've built to manipulate the BB-8 bot. I will demonstrate you now how it works. The way to manipulate this uh, combination of bots is very simple and intuitive. Each device on the LEGO Boost pad has its own purpose. For example, with the button we are requesting the bot to uh, show us random color and stabilize its position. So clicking the button sends the color signal and the bot tries to stabilize uh, to get the vertical uh, orientation. The right wheel is used to turn the bot so its heading direction uh, is more intuitive for the operator on the deck. And then the joystick is used to actually drive the bot and the more you turn the joystick, the faster the bot goes. how it actually came to me here. So, the purpose of this exercise was actually to give my eight years daughter a class about event-driven programming and I can tell you that from my experience at least event-driven programming concepts are quite hard for the eight years child uh, but we went through the exercise she wrote a successful program handling all of the events from all devices and sending them into BB-8 probably the most exciting for her was to just press the button and have BB-8 reacting with colors changing. Thanks for watching this video and see you next time. Thanks for all of your good comments. Uh, it's really satisfying for me to do these things with the robot.